So in our last video, we added pagination to show only five users per page. Now we've still got one little issue with our UI and that is this manage users link. So really, we only want to show this to admins because only admins can access it. An author or a user, if they try and click the link, it'll loop them back to their home page. So it'd be better if we could just hide this altogether. And we're going to use something called a blade directive to achieve this. So you can add your blade directives into your app service provider under app providers app. And this will be okay for this project because there's only one of them. But as your project grows, there could be loads of them and you don't want to pollute your app service provider with all of them. So I'm going to create a custom provider for this. So open up a terminal and we want to do PHP artisan make provider. And I'm just going to call this one blade extras. So blade extras service provider. Now under our app providers, we can see our blade extras service provider. And we're going to need to bring a few things in here. So I'm just going to bring in illuminate support facades blade. I'm just going to copy this down. And we also need to bring in illuminate support facades off. And we also need our app user model. Now under our boot method, this is where we create our custom blade directive. So to do this, it's quite simple. We just call blade and if, and now we give this if statement a name that will reference it in the view. So I'm just gonna call this has role. And then as the second parameter, we pass it in a closure. So let's create an anonymous function and we're gonna pass in an expression. So this expression will just be a string that we pass in the view and it'll just say has role and we'll say admin in this use case. So let's build up this closure. The first thing we want to do, we want to check if there is actually a logged in user. So we can do if auth user. And if there is one logged in, we then want to check whether they have the role. So we can do if auth user. And we can use our has any role method, which we created on our user model here. So we need to pass it in a string. And we'll pass it in the expression that we pass in the view. So I'll show you how that works later. So if both of these checks work, if there's a logged in user and the logged in user has the role that we define, we want to return true. Otherwise, we want to return false. So now we need to let Laravel know about this custom service provider. So under config and app, and we'll scroll down to our providers array. And then we just need to add this in and it's under app providers and it's called blade extras provider so now Laravel knows about this we can actually use it so if we come down to resources views and under our layouts app.blade.php we can see that manage users link so what we want to do we want to use our custom directive now and we called this has role and remember that has role takes an expression in, which is just a string of the role. And we want to make sure they have the role of admin. And then we just need to end this has role. Now let's give this a refresh. So as an admin, we can still see the manage users. So let's just log out. We come back to the login page. We can see the manage users link isn't there anymore. And that's because it doesn't pass the first test. There is no logged in user. So let's log in as our author. And now we're logged in as our author, you can see we still can't see the manage users link. And that's because it passes the first check that there is a logged in user, but it doesn't pass the check whether the user has the role of admin. So in our view, if we said author here instead of admin and give this a refresh, only authors can see the manage users link. So I'll just change this back to admin for now. And this shows a nice easy way that we can provide UI elements to our application depending on the user's role.